So, a very, very warm welcome, guys. So, yes, I had, uh, I had a couple of, well, actually, I had a very, very busy and important meeting today um, that is hopefully going to uh, push this channel forward into uh, everything that we wanted. And uh, it overrun. So uh, I was late. We were supposed to start at half past three. Unfortunately, the traffic was an absolute and utter nightmare. Complete and utter nightmare. So we started, uh, we pushed it back to five o'clock and I'm quite happy that we're, uh, that we're here. Let me just... Get that the last bit sorted. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. Nice one. Thank you so much. So, very uh, warm welcome, Fishing Planet, Miranda, JP Cross, G Bevs, hello to you. Thank you for your support over the past 11 months. Carol East, Mods, Afternoon, Susan Rawlinson. So, all should become clear, hopefully. Afternoon, Frenchy TJ. Hope you're doing well. Ian Jones. So yeah, we uh, we was running a little bit late just because of the traffic, guys. My meetings overran today. It's the the only problem sometimes as a uh, a sole operator. And it's all good. Paul Kitson, Roberta Gomez. Hello to you, Mr. Wrighty. Hello, mate. things guys not happy with that uh... where are we ah there we go just setting up the last bits I almost thought we wasn't gonna make it when I uh, when I hit the M25 traffic it looks like every single person is uh, coming back from the uh, the Easter break hello Sylvia and crafty jacks so here until about eight o'clock tonight then guys we should have all of the rush i'm hoping here at london city liam fleck good morning uh, good evening how are you doing so just waiting to go on a stand free derek holsey how are you doing from north carolina greetings and cheers to you hands all of more The university was closed as well, so I couldn't even get into the uni in our other spot down the, down the dock. Good old Albert there in front. And Bernice, how are you doing? Two eaters on the ground, one on stand 10 left, one on stand 2-1. Frequent flyer, hello to you, hope you're doing well. And thank you to the lovely, uh, the, the lovely people that just subscribed here along the dockside as well. Dizza, thanks for your support over the past 17 months. There is Albert there as well. We hadn't forgot about him. So 
a little bit windy. Just while we're waiting on there. There you go, just giving you a little insight into the wind as well. So a bit of a crosswind, oh a bit of a headwind. We have a look, they are reboarding the ETA on stand 10 left. And hopefully, the way that the beautiful weather is today, 20 degrees C here uh, in London, we should get, hopefully, them Heathrow flyovers just over the top as well. 82-year-old Avgeek, hello to you from uh, sunny and very warm Palm Desert. Hello to you. So yeah, we were stuck in a, a bit of traffic today, guys. We did originally have the stream for half past three, but uh, the M25 unfortunately puts quite a bit of uh, a delay on that. Hello Slim Jim, Lowlander, Reaper 55. Beautiful day, we've got the Eater, we've got the Air Dollar Mitty, and we also have the Sky Team KLM as well there. I'm going to double check and see if we have the Dornier as well, but I can't promise anything. Polar Bear Gaming, how are you doing? And we do, guys, we have the beautiful little Dornier turning up as well, estimated at 1823 today. So the 328 Jet. Delhi 20, always good being back at LCY. Yeah, Mr. Wrighty, they seem to be. A bit, uh, a bit choppy out there, a little bit of wind, but it's fine. Hello, Watford. A nice chilled out evening. Uh, our new start times as well, guys, uh, will be as we're obviously going into the uh, the summer now and the, the days are getting a lot longer. Uh, we was starting at half past three. We're probably going to start between uh, four and half past four uh, now. And that should give us about a three to four hour stream uh, here documenting just the busyness of London City as we go uh, into this. So we've currently got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine aircraft currently on the ground, and then whatever we get overhead going into LHR as well. So I believe they're landing two seven left over there at London Heathrow. Hello, Paul Hilbert. 320 heading my way. Get set, go. Evening to you. Hello, Oliver Dots. them Heathrow flyovers today. Hello Mism, just saying our uh, warm welcomes this afternoon, hoping everything is good. Whoa. Yeah, I'm hoping Barry, the A13 should be easier. The only problem you have sometimes is the, uh, is the motorway traffic getting here. Sometimes it can be a, a bit of a nightmare. I got stuck on the, uh, on the M25, as I said today causing a bit of a uh, bit of a problem. No, no. BA on stand eight now starting its engines. 
Uh, yes, just set go. So while we're uh, while we're quiet, then so we'll give you a little peek off to what is on the ground. So we've got the Utah, the BA City Flyer Embraer, Sky Team KLM, another BA Embraer, the Air Dollar Mitty, another BA City Flyer Embraer. And as such, another eater, two A two twenties on the ground, and then over there in the fast stands, uh, fast stands, another beautiful Embraer. That's it, Paul Hilbert. We do, and I am going to be heading. I think straight from here, I'm going to go straight to Heathrow uh, after the stream because it's going to be a bit late. I can't see what's going on at the jet centre at the minute because we're a bit further up in, in my original spot. Hello to you, Kaz. Hope you're doing well. Another aircraft inbound. Uh, and uh, Strayfelt saying hello, London. Uh, Helsingborg here. Hello to you. Carolise, it's very busy here as well today. Obviously, the uh, the nice weather. People are going out for a walk, so they're uh, they're just they're enjoying the nice the niceties, should we say? Another BA Embraer as well, starting its engines. Car by Paradise, Heather Reed. Uh, yes, Emma, so I'm gonna, by the time that we finished up here, it gets rather late. Um, so it looks like I'm gonna head straight to Heathrow, I reckon, after the, uh, after the stream. Magda Star. Another aircraft inbound as well. So Yankee Romeo heading out. Air stairs have been removed from the E to A220. Frequent flyer. Hello, lady crew. Looking forward to seeing the Dornier 328 jet. 
their dollar mitty starting its engines as well. Pan Am man doing very well. Beautiful KLM, Smiley Dolphin or Happy Dolphin. Keelan Sherrod Scott, hello to you. Lady Crew, I will do. Thank you so much. And happy Friday. off with the Embraer. I think that is the Iberia 350 as well going into 2.7 left. Hopefully we're going to have an action packed both on the ground and over the top. So plane spot in both airports today. Beautiful eater with the beacon lights flashing. Two KLM now on the ground, so, uh, side by side. Very, very busy, the KLM. And Jonathan Vogel, thank you for your support over the past 19 months. Hello, Lord Crew. I did have the radio on, but 
once again guys I think I'm gonna have to uh, invest but it's all right Take off never ever gets old. Uh, Delhi 20, it's quite windy. I will show you the wind sock once we've got the uh, dollar mitty. I don't know whether you can see it there. Uh, let's try and zoom into it. So, pretty much, pretty much headwind. Hang on guys. No worries Ian Jones. Oh, right, internet buffer guys, give me a second. Everyone's coming online here at London City at the second, it looks like. Ah, there we go, back to normal. Right, so I've got all my 5G up and running, guys. Perfect. Lowlander saying we've got a thin air overhead. I can't see the thin air. Yeah, the internet. Jim, it's just gone between uh, 4 and 5G. I just changed the settings up so we could get super fast 5G. So it's all right. There we go. So just change things over and... Uh, no drop frames. Yeah, Slim Jim, unfortunately that's what happens sometimes when the uh, when the internet flicks between both and Didi saying, honestly, thank you so much Didi, you didn't have to do that. I was going to invest in, in one anyway. Thank you so much though Didi, really, really appreciate it. There we go. I just needed to move around some of the, uh, the connections guys. Sometimes on the internet it shows you... Uh, Shows you when it's good and when it's not. And sometimes you just have to uh, make the adjustments. Ed Leslie, working at Orpington. I know Orpington very well. <laughs> yeah. I've literally been watching for like oh, an hour. Watching, I've literally sitting there going, oh, I've seen it before. Where did you pick? Um, yeah, you over? Oh, good. Yeah, happy days. Very Thank you very much, I yeah, appreciate yeah. it. Lovely. I was going to say, just know you watching, I know you click on when I'm at work. Yeah. See when they're coming in. It's coming in. Yeah. I take it you've driven down here? Yeah, drive down here. Oh, yeah. yeah, drive down here. Easiest way to, easiest way to do it. So you're going to Heathrow next? Yeah, I'm going to drive straight to Heathrow after this. So. Traffic? Well, I'm not at 8 o'clock when we, we're finished <laughs> up. <laughs> we should be all right, right? Like, so, yeah. Stay safe, mate. Nice one. Take care, lads. Thank you very much.
real nice speaking to uh, the ops, Tina York. Thank you, oh, Dee Dee. But it's nice speaking to people at LCY, appreciating what we, uh, what we do. Hello to you, Bruce. So the AT20 departing. Or departed. Hello Carl, hope you're doing well. So it looks like they turn around the Sky Team. No, Greg, I'm, I'm not that sort of, I'm no celebrity, I'm just a, I'm a bloke that films aviation. <laughs> it's nice to see though, nice to have a, nice to have a chat. Hello Gary Fellow, Steve Kelly. Steve. So yeah, we're finally coming to the last of our little testing as well, guys, of all of our, our new internet connections. Um, yesterday it seemed to have worked like a treat, so the, the connections that we've added, there might be a little buffer from time to time, but everything that we added yesterday, the stream ran for nearly seven hours. Uh, so very, very impressed. Obviously, the last final test, but hopefully you should be receiving this in all of its glory. Fingers crossed. <coughs> Hello, Helsinki spotting. Jason Kev could potentially. All depends on like the E2 though, doesn't it? Lady Crew, oh, very nice. So, just waiting for the KLM to start its engines. 25 past five. So, a massive hello to the folks over there at London City Airport. Hello, Alexi. Infinite Gaming, no worries. We're just sitting there watching a little bit of ground ops at the second. Yeah, Danish, it was because I smoked when I like, bought some duty free stuff back, and yeah, it's not good. Yeah, Steve Kelly, she's, uh, she's been here quite a few times. It's great when they depart on 0 9 because you get that full, that full view is beautiful. But thank you though, DD. 
All of the Heathrow arrivals come over this way, we'll get some lovely, lovely shots, but they're coming in from all directions. Look out. Is that a Dreamliner? Is that a Triple? It's like a triple. Very nice indeed. Stephen Luscombe, do. I found Arini, actually, I was going to, uh, over one of the coming Wednesdays, I found a day trip to Guernsey uh, on Arini, and it was 80 quid. And I could fly out of London City in the morning and then head back into Gatwick about one o'clock, two o'clock. Oh, Lowlander, brilliant stuff. I am going to do it. I'm going to the, uh, go to the doctors and going to try and uh, cut off of it. Hello, Infinite Gaving, uh, Gaming. Thank you, Darren Smith. So hopefully all of these final upgrades and testing that we've been doing paying off. We've got the Logan Air above us as well, the ATR. I don't know if we'll get. get a shortbread. Obviously the heavies are going to be a lot easier to catch over the top. Hello, Kevin N. Uh, Anders, this is an Embraer. So this is an Embraer 190. Andrea D. Oh, honestly, Andrea, thank you. You didn't have to. I really appreciate that.
actually got a model of this. Right, so Emma, that email will just mean that um, the flight was busy. So as you come into the summertime, some of the, uh, like the holiday airlines especially, will be um, wet leasing from other airlines. So say if you book TUI, potentially they'll use, I don't know, just a random, a random example. Uh, they'll use another airline like, um, oh, who are the other ones? Oh, completely lost my, uh, my train of thought. G Pow, what's the uh, what's the airline? But they will basically use another airline uh, to sort of carry out that flight. It will still be under, say, a Tui brand or an EasyJet brand, um, but they just changed the airline for that because they're uh, experiencing some higher uh, sort of load factors. And Stephen Luscombe, honestly, Stephen, I can't thank you enough. Andrea D. And Bruce, thank you for all of your support, guys. Wow. Yeah, almost lost train of thought there, guys. I'm just trying to fit. Um, what was the airline? Who, who's the airline that runs um, G Pal? Oh, what? What's the airline called? It's completely gone out of my mind. Thank you so much, guys. All of you for your support. Thank you, Bruce. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Stephen. Titan, there we go. Oh, that went straight out of my head. Thank you, guys. So, yeah, Titan, someone like that would operate for TUI. Thank you so much, guys. Completely lost my train of thought there. <laughs> thank you Stephen Luscombe and Messenger Mike same thank you so much to you Messenger Mike I'm so humbled that you choose to to donate to this channel guys I can't I can't put it into words thank you hello Creative M Infinite Gaming Ryanair do exactly what they say on the tin. They get you to the place, they get you there cheaply if you don't need baggage. They're a, they're a good airline. Honestly, it humbles me so much that you, that you donate to us guys. Thank you so, so much to all of you. KLM. It does Delhi 20. <laughs> it 
Jerry Fellows, correct. I do love this little airport. See just how bright that sun is. And then the beautiful eater. Uh, Mr. Wrighty, I have before. I've been on Titan when they had their 757s. Qatar A350 over the top. clear skies of London.
Hello Big Al, hope you're doing well. And Emma, so yes, I think I'm going to be heading straight from here. By the time we finish up, I think I'm going to head straight to uh, LHR. Otherwise, by the time I get home, it's probably about half past nine, ten o'clock, and then I'm back up at like five o'clock in the morning. So sometimes it's uh, one of them. Watford, all good. Benny, thank you very much. Uh, Frick Mobile. Yes, funny you say that. The thing is, we was going to keep rolling yesterday. Now, anyone that was watching the Gatwick stream, we was there for nearly seven hours yesterday. We waited for the Delta. We waited again for the Delta. We kept waiting and waiting and waiting. About 23, 24 minutes after we'd finished the stream, the Delta actually departed. So how's that for your luck, guys? But the Delta did depart. So it did leave Gatwick yesterday, but it was very, very delayed. I'm still not understanding what the delays were, but uh, the Delta did leave Gatwick yesterday. Got another aircraft inbound as well. No, Delhi 20 hour drive. Hello 747 super fan. like an A220, is this the Swiss? Liam Flett saying a FedEx overhead. Hoping the Swiss is going to be uh, joining us right opposite here on stand 10 left. Hello, Kevin Wybird. Hope you're doing well. Hotel Bravo, Juliet Bravo Alpha. And happy birthday to you, Valerie. Hello, Clive Everly. And that was down from Zurich. 
as LX464. Thank you, Ian Jones. So 747 tracking. John Ray Senesa, how are you doing? sound here my friend and another aircraft inbound as well shut down on the Swiss anyone else celebrating a birthday today happy birthday thank you Delhi 20 John Hume. I'm wondering potentially if this is a prop that we've got coming in next because it seems a lot smaller on the approach. It looks like the KLM as well. The second KLM has just uh, had its air stairs removed. So that should be the next one out. The next one's starting its engines at least. So he throw uh, the rivals coming in from all sorts of directions. like a sea of different aircraft over the top. In tune with cars, that wasn't it? Was a BA from Dublin inbound? Thank you.
Uh, probably the APU. Leslie, I would be guessing. I'll have another look in a second. Derek Halsey. Wow. get it we may just be able to get it Already seen two Star Alliance aircraft then on stream. Beautiful. All right. Yeah, good. Still not there, yeah? No worries. I'll speak to you in a second. Hello, Mark Burgess. Uh, Mark Burgess, how are you doing? How are you doing well? Thank you, in tune with cars. So, we already had the KLM, and what was that? Ed? Ed? Oh, hang on. Already lowered his uh, landing gear. Already. Good few miles out. Ian Jones saying a UPS 747 is now approaching Windsor. Thank you, Intune McCarr.
straight into the sun. I bet the uh, pilots have got their sunglasses on. Let's have a look. <laughs> Ken G, eh? Uh, Ian Lyles, no, not later, not later today. It's uh, he throws about an hour and a three quarters drive from here. That'll be tomorrow. The London City departure. No, Darren Smith, not yet. I'm supposed to be here in October. Nice to have a bit of a, uh, a clear day so we can actually see some of this. The lot five minutes out. And someone just said that we've got uh, in tune with cars, correct? Oh, is it 1817 now for the Dornier? Embraer taxiing out as well.
kind of Paul Turk. Thank you, Paul Freeman. Not knocking that in tune with cars. Love that little Dornier 328. seen that Mr. Wright here, I'll have to have a look. I only ever thought that it was the uh the Emirates seem to be uh delayed. Take care. Very, very quickly. Are you really? Thank you very much. I appreciate it. You're watching the live stream that we're doing. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Nice one. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Lovely. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. No worries, mods. It's nice to see uh, people walking along as well and watching the live video and just saying hello. So thank you very much if you do do that. Please don't ever think that I'm rude, guys, because obviously I'm keeping an eye on so many things. So if you do uh, pop up, just give me a second to say hello.
almost lost in the sunlight. Incredible stuff. In tune with cars, thank you very much. He's looking forward to the Dornier. Uh, Noel Taylor, there have been people fishing in here, uh, but they frown upon it. They really do. There is signs that um, they're along here that say uh, private, no fishing. If you have a look, you probably see it right there. Um, obviously this, like that little bit there with the gate, uh, but there are signs along, but people do do it. I have seen people, uh, or many, fish from here, especially in the summertime. waiting on the next aircraft guys hello uh, Matt Carter <laughs> yeah I've got the light button on here it the thing is I know that YouTube were doing uh, doing some more updates and things like that on there I had to update my studio and a lot of other stuff so it could could just be that. Paul Freeman will try and catch the Etihad. Paul Matten, hello to you. Thank you, uh, Jonathan Vogel. with a lot, I believe. So it looks like the lot going into stand three. Ah, Mark Burgess, yeah, that makes sense. 
Yeah, you have to go out of it to like it, don't you? Are you watching on the TV? I thought it was going to stand free, obviously, the lot. Nothing above us at the second. Hello, Gordon J. No worries, Mark Burgess. Uh, Ken G, it, it just keeps draining batteries. Yeah, it just doesn't ever seem to want to... Uh Quite a few miles out at the second. You might not even be able to see. Oh, I don't know. We might be able to. There it is. No, that was quite easy. Here. Ah, there it is. No. Nope. A little 328 jet, the Dornier. No worries, John Vogel. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not get, getting rid of it. That's why I didn't want to buy a new one, because I'm going to fix it. They're very expensive, them things. I just, I'm not going to try and get it all sorted.
Love this little machine. Oh, so they're putting it, okay. So it's going down on there. Some of the high 20 stands, okay. That must mean that they're expecting all of these stands to potentially be full. Another aircraft inbound, a few miles out. Nothing above us at the second. Uh, at the second. Thank you, Burst and uh, EY17 heading towards me. What direction is it coming in from, guys? I've got another Logan Air going over the top, another aircraft inbound. Tina York, yes we have. A shortbread. Daniel Burns, thank you. And looking like, is that the Eater? Helen Robinson, how are you doing?
stunning machine. Clive Beverly, thank you for your support, Clive. Means a lot, Clive, thank you. So there were seven inbounds. Stands are gonna be very full here very soon. on an A380 over the top. Eddie Morgan, it's a lovely livery. I've got a lot of time for Eater. Webbo, thank you, mate. Thank you, Webbo. And Helen Robinson, thank you for your support, Helen. Thank you so much. Swiss A220 beacon lights on, starting its engines. And a Sean Fox.
Hello Ash Watts, how are you doing? Oliver Dots, Gordon J. So Swiss engines are running. I believe after the next arrival we should Would be lovely if we could get it uh, into a zero nine. I don't think we're going to be lucky. Hello, Keith Grafton. Thank you, John Vogel. Another aircraft in Yeah, Helen Robinson, fishing, it's, people do it, but it's very frowned upon. You're not allowed to uh, do it. The car park attendant that I, uh, that manages the car park where I park, um, he always, he always asks me whether I'm carrying in my trolley um, fishing equipment, even though I've been coming here for so many, you know, it's like an ongoing joke, you know?
giant coin stacks, no worries at all. So yeah, the radar box should be uh, now all running with every aircraft arriving. It'll give you every single bit on there. <coughs> or every bit of information that you could possibly uh, need there as a, a plane spotter. Maybe Euro wings. So the city flyer just rocking ever so slightly. A220 out next. Thank you, Andrew D. Appreciate it. Aviation line, hello to you. Quite nice seeing a few aircraft uh, approaching London City now. Beautiful A220. Stunning JAL in the background for another Embraer. That's Idara, how are you doing? I thought that was JAL.
Beautiful Lufty. Nice seeing there, Dolomiti and Lufthansa in here. Even though part of the same company. No worries, Dennis. You take care, mate. Thank you, Jonathan Vogel. Blick Fang, how are you doing? Jane Chapman, hello to you, Jane. Good to see you. Stands are starting to look quite full here at London City, which is always nice to see. Down with Yankee Zulu. Nice, leisurely taxi. Looks like the shortbread in afterwards. No, JP Cross, the, re the reason you're seeing them now, we, we couldn't see them before because it was too dark. So uh, they haven't completely abandoned uh, London City Airport. But obviously in the, uh, there's a lot more variety now happening at London City. Hello, Debbie 13. So into stand nine. Thank you, Paul Freeman. Uh, 
Uh, Gordon and Jay, we're going to be here until uh, until darkness, like we always are. I think it was uh, 1950 was uh, sunset. And then it gets quite dark quite quickly uh, after that, doesn't it? So maybe quarter past eight. Thank you, Ian Jones. So hopefully we'll get a lovely shot of the uh, Cafe Pacific 7-4. They're going to park now. I wonder if that's going to go and stand free. Jonathan Vogel saying we've got two dash eights on the way as well as the Orini as well. Loving the uh, the variety here now at LCY. Something we didn't have when we was broadcasting our uh, winter shows. to stand free. Just behind Albert's home. Dornier starting its engines as well. Another aircraft inbound, looks like a heavy 7 8 over the top. And the Diddy Dornier out. Lot starting its engines as well. Very quick turnarounds here.
Daniel Burns saying Emirates A380 just passed over the Essex coast as well. Another two aircraft inbound as well. Beautiful. This is why I love London City here on a Friday evening. Heavy loss behind the trees. Leslie White, hello. Oh, no, no, no. Actually, guys going to hopefully get a lovely shot of that Asiana. Beautiful shot. When we get the aircraft passing like that, guys, we can get some amazing, amazing. Uh... Wow. So, Ian, I'm hoping that the Cafe Pacific will take the same routing as what the Asiana did. If we can get the uh, the Asiana like that, beautiful. Hello, Susanna Bentley. It's like a lufty now going over the top. Alpha Echo. Hello, Jessica Rainbow. Looks like the Dash 8 inbound next. Thank you, Tina. So, Alpha Echo, wondering where he's going into. Is that going to be staying 10? Beautiful Dilly Dornier. Hey, 
Dashai in next. Uh, I love saying can you give a shout out to Chrissy and Julian and Alicia we love your videos not a problem shout out to you free hello to you thank you so much for popping in beautiful dashi then the lot Probably hear guys in the background as well. Lots and lots of people now uh, out and around plane spotting or even just walking up and down the dockside. Dasha in on stand eight. Oh, wow. And then the second dash eight. Nah, Golden J, no buffer in here, my friend. This is uh, running smooth as silk. Thank you, Ian Jones. Ooh.
loving that. Currently three props on the ground. ATR 2-8, all we need now is the Arini. Making it complete. Oh, wow. So we are hoping that the Cafe 747 is going to be taking that exact flight path that the past three aircraft have done. And then we should, hopefully, be able to get a lovely, lovely view of the aircraft in question going over the top. Big fang. <laughs> Bruce really not a fan. Andrea D, definitely getting better. That might be it. So it looks like the 74 I'm guessing is circling or it's in a holding pattern I'm guessing. So there is the 74. Jonathan Vogel, got it. <laughs> so just trying to, just trying to figure out where potentially that's gonna come back. So the skies above London today, very, very busy. Yeah, 
quick. <laughs> So the cafe into LHR, nothing over the top. Actually, there are currently, uh, yeah, there are a few aircraft. I don't know if you can, if you'll be able to see it, the camera will make it out. There's quite a few aircraft. I was really hoping that the cafe was gonna come over this way. Keep my eyes peeled on the uh, the 7-4 as much as I can. Looks like KLM inbound. Paul Burrows, brilliant. Split. And a KLM going over the top of us. Looks like the E2, if I'm not mistaken. Hello to you, John Lehman. Hope you're doing well. No worries, John. to 10 past seven in the UK. BA and Brea just starting its engines. All right, circling back around the 747, I am keeping my eyes over uh, on it to the right hand side. Looks like we may miss the 7-4 guys. Looking at the way that it is heading at the second. Well, I don't know though. Thank you, Paul Freeman. Maybe split. A 
That's what I was thinking, Jonathan. It looks like I am tracking it. So we'll get the uh, BA and Brea down and then we'll see what we can catch on the 7-4. And there is the 7-4. So I'm making that uh, left-hand turn. Quite a few, uh, or quite a number of miles away. So we'll try and get the best shot that we can. Going in on two seven left, I'm guessing that it's gonna be arriving on guys. I think that's about as that's about as close as I can get you to that Cafe 74 guys. And the Air India triple. Thanks, Delhi 20. And the Eater A220 out night, uh, out next.
Thank you, John H. Rob and Roxy, it always, uh, it always helps when we've got a little bit of calm wind. The weather is uh, always such an important factor sometimes. Lovely. And I think we've got the Arini in bar next. Yes, we have. That's what it looks like. Uh, Beep San live near Heathrow. Only got on into this plane streaming business recently. It is. the Arini on finals. Thank you, Lowlander. Holly Raybould, doing very well. Hope you are too. I'm up to 20 past seven in the UK. See it and the arena. You missed the muffs.
getting a real soft spot for uh, Arini, guys. That colour scheme is just so, so vibrant. It's beautiful. I think I'm going to have to make a, uh, a little day trip on this and uh, check them out. Thank you, John Lehman. Uh, yeah, Paul Freeman, I probably will. So the lufty out next. Just get the lift through before we get the shutdown of the uh, ATR. Stephen Luscombe, I, I think it's needed. With the prices that it is, I think it's got to be done. And John Lehman, so Arini that you've just seen here, uh, this livery here, they started on Easter Sunday, the 31st of March uh, this year. So they are brand new, or well, not brand new, but they are back to London City after about a seven year absence. Um, so Arini now are doing very well. I believe it's three flights a day on a Friday that they do here. All good. So, ATR in and an ATR out. Looks like the last few passengers now getting on board the Luxair, the Dash 8, and the sun beginning to set. Have a flag for City Airport. Oh, you have? Yeah. Oh, brilliant stuff. Yeah, to do aircraft cleaning. You have to let me know how you get on. Yeah, let me know if they accept you. Of course, I'll let you know straight away. Perfect, man. Yeah. Send down with a KLM. How come EasyJet doesn't fly from City Airport? Too big. Their too aircraft big. too big, yeah. Oh, right, okay. With a KLM.
beautiful KLM. Amazingly bare. Hello to you. And right, looks like potentially the Dash 8 is ready to go as well. Uh, John M, no, the Elizabeth line doesn't have a, uh, a direct stop here, but the quickest way to get here uh, on the Lizzie line would probably be Canary Wharf, I reckon. Actually, someone do uh, let me know if I've got that wrong. I'm just thinking it might actually be Woolwich. Woolwich or Canary Wharf, or if you're going into, say, Stratford. So if you're coming from, say, my way, I would probably get into Stratford and then uh, change for the DLR. No worries, John Bolland. Got a few bits of ground movements anyway. And the sun is beginning to set. Yeah, definitely Stratford. Beautiful Logan Air back to the Isle of Man. I might be able to get a nice sunset. Yeah, it all depends on which way you're coming from, Bruce, isn't it? So, Yankee Zulu. Heading out. No worries, Mr. Muffs. Hopefully, I should be getting ready to get that uh, Dash 8 out. Amanda Harrison, take care. Right, so John Bolland, if you went to Stratford, you would get the Docklands Light Railway. So you'd get the DLR, and the DLR would come straight hill. I'm sure it's the London City Airport that the DLR goes from Stratford. I don't think you have to change either. I don't believe so. It's been a long time since I've uh, used the public transport, but right behind us, you've got Albert Dock. Oh, what? Is it called Albert? And then obviously, you've got that's what you wanted, the DLR. So that's what you need. But obviously the other side, so over there. So that's the DLR that goes straight into London City Airport. Yeah, Susanna, so there's two lines here. So you've got the Royal Albert, which is behind me. 
and then you've got London City over there, so they're two different lines. So if you're flying, definitely go straight into London City Airport. Gibson, Narita, no worries at all. Roberta Gomez saying, uh, hey Chris, how many aircraft uh, can London City hold? Uh, we've seen 20 here at one time, but I need to find out the exact number. Actually, if Dean's in the, uh, in the chat, he might be able to help on that. But we've seen short 19 or 20 here at one time. So we've got a couple of other stands which you don't see uh, to the right hand side which are like sort of if the airport is very very busy and then you've got the uh, the like the jet center or the private jet center but i will double check exactly on that because i'm sure that it changed i don't want to give you wrong information but also thank you so much for your support on that as well so thank you Thank you very much, Roberta. How do you pronounce that plane on that new plane? Ben? Orini. 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 Orini, yeah. Orini. Yeah. Oh, okay. And I used to fly here, then it left and came Seven back. years ago, yeah, and then it left, yeah. Oh, wow. And then it come back on Easter Sunday. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it's now going to be a member here then? It is, all the time. Oh, yeah. Three flights a day it does in here on a Friday. Oh, three flights a day on a mm. Friday? And yeah, then the man. others are like two days, two times a day? Yeah. Oh, okay. Is Blue Island going to come back? I don't think so. Nah, it's gone. I thought it was 20 outfit or 20... I will double check it. I'm not going to give you wrong information, guys. But thank you, Roberta. Yeah, Golden J, we normally get a better view when we're standing down the dockside. Obviously, with the traffic today, I couldn't get into the university because it, uh, it was closed and it still is half term here. But the private jet centers over to the right hand side and the dash 8 starting its props as well John Lehman thank you for your support John Aaron Smith, that is really, really good. I might have to have a look into that as well then, I reckon. John Lehman, I don't blame you. Yeah, but Darren Smith, I will take a look into that. So these are my cards for Arini and then uh, Luxair. Daniel Burns, one of the best liveries actually, the, uh, the Sumo. 
and Gibson Narita say thank you very much. Thank you so much for your support. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Really, really appreciate it. Happy Friday. We may even be able to get a turnaround of that, of the, uh, the sumo livery before it gets dark. Two aircraft inbound. Trucks removed. Alfred, take care. Oh, both dash eights. surprise me. Yeah. Hello Pride. Yeah, very underrated airport. Alpha is great, isn't it? So, two dash eights taxiing down. Paddy Spain, 19 stands at London City. So, Roberta, 19, 1, 9. Thank you, Paddy Spain. Aircraft, or sorry, all the uh, airports starting to uh, light up now. Peter might be in one of those boxes. He may be, mate. Yeah. Maybe.
it's looking like we may have a triple Luxair movement here. First time on the channel, Gibson Narita. Thank you so much. Once again for your support, really appreciate it. Thank you. Glad you're enjoying it. So it could be a triple dash eight movement. aircraft on final. Have a good weekend, yeah? You too, man. Yeah. Enjoy. Yeah. Take, care. Take care. See you later. And the third Luxair movement. James Quidland, take care. Four o'clock in the morning where you are. Quarter to eight in the UK. Wow, well, actually, that's uh, the finals. There's four aircraft currently. Uh, I don't know whether you can see it. Look at that. Wow. Ah, oh, pride, brilliant stuff.
Take care, James Cridland. Very apt as well for uh, today's stream. Live life, it's the weekend. Beautiful colour scheme. Captain Peter uh, very kindly given me one of these models. <laughs> so Yankee November. KLM gonna be heading out next. Feel broad, no worries at all. Don't worry about it. Some lovely colour in the sky now. That uh, that beautiful purple. Colly O'Hara, how are you doing?
going to be a stunning sunset. Hello, Patrick Malone. John Bollen. To be honest, it's the colours. It's just the beautiful, beautiful colours, especially of the sky. I mean, look at that colour, you know. Lowlander, take care. Thank you for your support, mate. Really appreciate it. Have a great evening. So lucky, guys. This is just uh, so peaceful, so serene. And the Arini already turned around, heading back out. Over in the west, some lovely, lovely colours as well. Such a quick turnaround for Arini. And Adam, hello to you.
Right. And then you may, just as I pull that back from there, you can probably see the colour of the sky. Just stunning. Incredibly beautiful. Thank you, Freddie O. James Willard, thank you so much. Another aircraft in on finals. Sun has set now then, guys. So we're on the countdown to the darkness. Such a quick turnaround for Arena. That is incredible. Thank you, John. Split Skimitar, no worries at all. And Susan Rawlinson, glad you've enjoyed. Thank you, Freddie O. Yeah, DD. Starting to really quieten down now. Last flight is at uh, about nine o'clock, I think. See you, Keith. I think it's going to be too dark for the uh, departure of the Luxair. I know they were uh, quick turnarounds. bright that beacon light is it just uh, really shines through and another aircraft in on final as well the windsock all lit up looking absolutely beautiful
here now. Yeah. You can only imagine, eh? So London City's starting to get busier. Waiting all winter for uh, streams like these. <coughs> no worries, Pop. All the floodlights now fully on at London City Airport. See what I said, guys. Once the uh, once the sun sets, it's a matter of uh, very short minutes before the darkness really prevails here over the uh, over the airport. It gets really dark in a very quick uh, amount of time. I think we'll do the ATR as the last one, guys. Another cracking stream here in the East End of London. Happy retirement, Jim. And just like that, look what's back. The beautiful Sky Team livery appearing twice on today's stream. And the Arini off into the yonder. <laughs> Maybe you can see it as well. You might be able to see the uh, the moon. 
and then we'll catch the shutdown of the Sky Team KLM. No worries, Lee Class. This is our son, our pleasure. <coughs> and there is the shutdown of the KLM Sky Team. So we're going to finish up on there, guys. I'm going to go and get some sleep. I need some sleep and something to eat uh, as well. So let's just turn that ever so slightly around. You can probably still see some uh, some light over there in the city but from uh, where i am it's starting to get very very dark and as you can probably see very dark here on the uh on the apron at london city airport uh g bevs you too absolutely brilliant obviously full summer time this is a different breed this is a bit of a warm-up i suppose to what we're going to be uh, seeing So, of course, guys, on that uh, leaving and passing shot that we always have there of uh, the London City skyline, or especially Canary Wharf, um, obviously, I just want to say a massive, massive thank you uh, to the mods. Thank you, mods, for everything that you do. Um, it's been an incredible week this week. Um, very long week, but one of the best that we've had uh, in the channel. Also... Uh, a massive thank you to everyone that watched over there on Facebook, guys. Hope you're, uh, hope you've enjoyed the stream. Really do, and of course, the biggest thanks of all goes to everyone here uh, on YouTube, guys. Thank you so, so much. Thank you for your likes. Thank you for your shares. Um, thank you for all of the comments that are come in, and of course, massive, massive thank you to everyone that very, very kindly donated into the channel, guys. Um, I can't thank you enough. I know I say it every single week after every single show, but from the bottom of my heart, thank you all uh, for allowing uh, the channel to do all of the stuff uh, that we're doing. So thank you all. We'll be back tomorrow at London Heathrow, guys. But other than that, obviously, I'm going to leave you with that lovely passing shot uh, over there of Canary Wharf. So from myself, from the wonderful dockside here at London City Airport, have a great, great evening. We will see you all again very, very soon. Take care. Enjoy.